All right, guys, we're going to start doing part two here. So just like part one, we're going to give you a countdown of three, two, one, play. And when I say play, that's when you hit the play button. Pretty simple. So get ready. Three, two, one, play. And we're back again with the awesome opening entrance theme, which is kind of the best part about this whole show. Yeah. I actually listened to a cool cover version of this one time where um, Ron Wasserman, I think was his name, who composed this, he commented on that person's cover version and he was like, oh, this is so better than mine. (laughs) Ron Wasserman's the man. He wrote most of the Power Rangers songs. Oh, so good. You gotta love the Power Rangers theme, too. Yeah. We need people that can do guitar stuff like this now. This should be like the movies theme. Why not? They tried to do it with uh, X2. It was like as close as possible without actually doing it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Now it's time for a headbutt. <laughs> <laughs> Days of Future Past Part 2. Because <laughs> 40 miles per hour is really, really fast. <laughs> <laughs> They go so overboard with their accents in this. Gambit's practically going, Oh, ha, we, we. You know, when he has his accent. <laughs> yeah. It <laughs> yeah. goes away it. sometimes. So she's doing 40 miles an hour, slams on the brakes, and he's like, Ah, oh my God, you scared me. You get shot at and stuff. <laughs> On a regular basis. You can touch anything and it'll explode and that startles you. That's not how it happened last time. She walked in behind Wolverine. (laughs) For the amount of flashbacks they have in this episode, (laughs) you think they would have actually watched the other one? (laughs) Then again, they did put Beast in there, so they were like, yeah, that's great. Good point. Well, that was useful, Rogue. He got shot anyway. <laughs> Why does Jubilee keep kicking his ass? <laughs> She's the worst person here. Well, no, Jean's pretty much the worst. <laughs> Gonna hit you with some sparklers. I still never understood another thing with the costumes. Uh, Gambit's face mask thing that covers absolutely nothing. Unless he's just really concerned about like his neck. I think that's it. He's and to push his hair up. Head. Yeah. <laughs> another rookie. Take a drink. Shot. <laughs> Little fist wiggles. Grr. It's a good thing that they were able to say kill and die and stuff on the show. The Spider-Man one was so much more tame. He couldn't even punch anybody on the show. What? Yeah. He couldn't punch anybody. You couldn't shoot with real bullets. Um, you couldn't say blood. You had to say plasma. <laughs> and you couldn't say kill or die. You had to say, like, destroy. <laughs> Oh, what a terrible factory. They build a big sentinel to build a big sentinel. <laughs> How could that ever go wrong? <laughs> Although I did kind of like Master Mold as a kid. But when you're a kid, this stuff makes perfect sense. You never think twice about how useless Gene is or... <laughs> I just like how they're pretty much showing us the Holocaust in form of a cartoon. (laughs) (laughs) So the people controlling these Sentinels can't stop them. 
I mean, it is a government project. Yeah. You think you'd build a fail safe? <laughs> oh, they made the president cry. <laughs> I gotta stop the president from crying. <laughs> president doesn't like crying. There's another reference in the armband. This armband, zoom in. Kids, pay attention. How obnoxious is Xavier's wheelchair thing? It's huge. <laughs> I remember it as a toy. It was basically like a Hess truck. <laughs> How the hell is he supposed to get through doorways? <laughs> doorways that aren't funded from his billionaire mansion and stuff. Yeah, because Professor Charles Xavier is a comedian. Wasn't joking. Can you tell that in my face? <laughs> With my wicked eyebrows, like Emily was saying. The <laughs> best thing to do when somebody accuses you of being a killer. Fuck that guy. Let's kill him. <laughs> do you think I would hurt somebody? Eat this. I don't think her boobs make sense. <laughs> what? Just look at the way they're positioned. Who's? Storms. Can't really tell with Rogue with that jacket. At least they bypassed the original design where she had the X logos on them. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh. He turns on the lights and it's enough for them to be like, ah, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Gambit's coat, though. See, look at them. <laughs> they don't make any sense. <sighs> Mona me. If you don't get it, I have French in me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is that awesome theme song again? Ah, oh, it's over. <laughs> awesome theme song is over. <laughs> oh, this happens every time we play Go Fish. <laughs> Huh. Do you have any threes? Here you go. Why does he need the mask to babysit? <laughs> Secret identities. <laughs> How pointless is Jubilee? She's <laughs> <just> napping. <laughs> I was this just going to call most... her such a lazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most important thing in the history of mankind <laughs> that you're trying to prevent. And she's just like, meh, nah, take a nap. <laughs> Which I am Jubilee. <laughs> Speaking of bad accents, Pyros is terrible. Then again, Blob doesn't have an accent. He sounds like a complete dimwit. Wait, wait a minute. Did all those arcade machines, they're TVs? <laughs> it's true. Oh, well now I can't play Pac-Man. Oh. oh, clearly they're playing the X-Men game. <laughs> that used to be such a good game. Oh, yeah. Play as Colossus, just go... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I like taller Wolverine better, even though that doesn't really go with the normal stuff. Yeah. Can't picture the little runt dude being as awesome. And they're all white again. <laughs> and they can't think of a chant to save their lives. Humans, yes. Mutants, no. The most basic of all things. Could have at least made it rhyme. Right. Dumb it down for the kids. We are mad. <laughs> Protest tours. 
He always reminded me of Jerry Springer. <laughs> I think Jerry Springer was a mayor. Yeah. Maybe he's like Jerry Springer with too. a hint of Mr. Fantastic with that gray streak. <laughs> Senator Springer. <laughs> Somebody should go kill him. <laughs> <It's terrible. laughs> I should say it. I can't believe after all of these movies, Avalanche has still been not been in a single one of them. You couldn't have thrown him in the X Men: The Last Stand. You'd think. Even if it wouldn't have made any sense, nothing else did in that movie. They threw a subtle reference to Jubilee. Yeah, she was in X Two. Yeah. Although she wasn't napping in it. <laughs> nope, there's that lazy shit. <laughs> Let her sleep? What the hell? <laughs> it's like, well, if we fail, somebody dies, and then the Holocaust happens. But <laughs> she didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. And she's a kid. They need their sleep. But yet had the power to take out Bishop twice. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the, uh, You lazy shit. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, God. What happened to that whole mission that we were here for? <laughs> it's one eye. I really don't like, <laughs> really don't like Scott's uniform. No. No. It's a little bit better than the white one he wore for a little bit, but... Yeah, bright yellow underwear on the outside. <laughs> The blob really has to insult four eyes. Like you said, it is one eye <laughs> slot. That's it. <laughs> to be fair, though, when I was watching this before, I kind of laughed at that. <laughs> Out of all the things to do, you're trying to murder somebody and you see the X-Men come in, it's just like, hey, you wear glasses. Nerd. <laughs> yeah. This is where real life psychologists are like, yeah, well, you're a fat ass. <laughs> What? <laughs> and he th he burps because she hits him in the stomach with fireworks. Stab him. <laughs> no, just hold his eyes. Oh no, the one weakness of the blob. Pools. <laughs> Here's the drama queen again. <laughs> the arctic wind is summoned and the gods say... It's like she's cutting an Ultimate Warrior promo. Wrestling fans out there. Yeah, if you want to throw anybody into the pool, throw Pyro. Yeah. Avalanche is badass. I love my puns, but that other X-Men Evolution series where they changed his name from Dominic Petros to Lance Alvers, that's a little bit too much. <laughs> Alvers Lange. Uh, here's Jean proving her value. It's too heavy. <laughs> it's always too heavy, Jean. Goodbye, little girl. <laughs> you had a good life. <laughs> it's a good thing uh, that wasn't Storm. She's claustrophobic when she gets rocks on top of her. <laughs> The only sensible one in this cartoon. <laughs> Wasn't Wolverine just hugging the little kid? You know Jubilee is? He threw her at Jubilee. <laughs> I want to see that scene where he's just like, here, take the kid. <laughs> you really think you're going to be sneaky wearing that outfit? Carrying a huge gun. Big ass quads. <laughs> And then have hit the hostage in another room. 
My assistant wasn't supposed to be tied up until later. Oh. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Especially Gambit and the X-Men. I'm Gambit of the X-Men. <laughs> Tell your friends, even though I'm going to shoot you. Not gonna lie, I used to throw some cards as a kid. Pretend that I was Gambit. I still do it as an adult. <laughs> yeah, work. Here's a business card. Wow. <laughs> Be like, you're 25. It's not working. It will. <laughs> One day. And then you'll be sorry when it explodes in your face. <laughs> Quads. For all that talk about how dangerous the gun was and it just knocks him over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he went. I'm a full charge of it. You didn't use a full charge before. Now it's like, no, the armband thing I brought up earlier six different times. Shit, what does that thing do again? <laughs> <laughs> does a lot more than Rogue's coat does. <laughs> Covers her shoulders and that's it. Yeah, she can't even button it. Well, we know why she can't button it. Because that's what the next episode's plot demands. <laughs> mama. Mama! Want some chitlins, mama? <laughs> the correct answer is no. <laughs> he just walks right by Wolverine. <laughs> Doesn't even, doesn't even acknowledge there's this dude standing next to him that probably smells terrible and looks like it. Why does she have blue hair? It? She's secretly goth. <laughs> or emo or punk or whatever those people call themselves today. You know, it's match the color scheme. Everybody's wearing blue and yellow. Aw, he put a pillow under his head when they laid him down. <laughs> Best here, mon ami. Bonjour. That's all I know. Fromage. <laughs> cheese. Baguette. Croissant. I want that belt. Not the headband to go with it? Oh, well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man up. <laughs> yeah, you failed, Bishop. Are you sure? <laughs> So didn't get Forge get shot in the back? I think the next time he tries to go back. And Wolverine's dead. No one's yeah. gonna like mention the fact that Wolverine's skinned. It'd be great if you just started talking. <laughs> hey, why am I in a tube? Dude, you could have opened it up. You didn't yeah. even try. Uh oh. Magnetized. You know what that means. Dun, 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 Sebastian Shaw. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that was gonna be Puck. 
There you have it, guys. Two episodes of the classic X-Men animated series, Days of Future Past. We uh, did this, obviously, because the X-Men Days of Future Past film is going to be coming out soon. And when that does, we are obviously going to review that on fanboysanonymous.com. Maybe we'll do an episode of the review point for that and have a little group meeting. Maybe uh, we'll do some more X-Men animated series episodes for fan tracks in the future, if you guys are really interested in that. Make sure you leave a comment, or send us some kind of an email, or let us know that you're a fan of that, and we'll make sure that we'll do it. We're going to try to do maybe one or two fan tracks every month or so, and it all kind of depends on things that are going to be coming out. Uh, when we do Star Wars, eventually, when that comes out down the line, we'll try to do some kind of a marathon for that. Try to keep this mostly for TV shows and movies that people uh, are fans of. We're not going to go for the, the riff tracks kind of thing where we take something obscure. Now, we want to do what we became fans of as a kid and things that we're excited about and things that we want to look back on and give a little retrospective viewpoint for. So, that'll do us in for this first episode of fan tracks what we're going to do here is just go and plug some other stuff that we have going on so dace you're up hey follow me on twitter at the dace man check me out wednesday nights on mega powers radio with the dace man show check me out this sunday uh with four real movie club as we discuss monster films um check me out at oldtimewrestling.net and i do other things (laughs) and emily Oh, well, now I just feel like an underachiever. Um, follow me at It's Jaxo at Twitter because I don't really have much else going on right now. <laughs> and stay tuned for everything else coming your way, Fanboys Anonymous related on .com and on YouTube.com slash Fanboys Anon, A-N-O-N. You could also follow us on iTunes and Stitcher. And other shows that we have that aren't on there, you can find on MegapowersRadio.com. On behalf of not only myself, but for Emily and for Chris, and all the fanboys and fangirls that couldn't be here tonight, I'm Tony Mango. No matter what, good or bad, for X-Men, I'm going to be a fanboy forever. So until next time, everybody, geeks out.